Hello everyone, welcome to VA Tech Talks. As part of AWS integration using MuleSoft series, we are going to talk about S3 bucket, okay? S3 bucket integration. I mean, how to create S3 bucket, we are going to see now, today. So before going to talk about S3 bucket, so you need to have AWS account, so if you are not yet created, go to our channel, go to playlist. So I have created one playlist called, okay, MuleSoft with AWS integration. So this is our first video. So here I have explained how to create AWS free tier account, okay? You can create AWS free tier account. So that is the prerequisite. Then coming to S3 bucket. So what is S3 bucket here? What is Amazon S3? So if you see Amazon S3, it's like storage object. So here you can store files, images, videos. It's like same as in Azure blob, blob containers. Okay. Same like we do have Amazon S3 bucket. So here, we can use 12 months for free with the 5 GB data you can store, okay? So let's see how to create, how to create S3 bucket. So what you can do, you can log in into Amazon portal, okay? Then, so here we do have an option called S3. So here you can see storage S3. So if you click this one, okay, here you can able to see the buckets. So in order to create bucket, just click on create bucket here, create bucket, and you can provide bucket name and this options okay these are default options then click on create bucket so this is how we can create by using gui okay now what is our requirement our requirement is to create s3 bucket using mulesoft okay let's see how quickly we can create s3 bucket Okay. I can open any point studio and go to file and new. I'm going to create one sample project here. I'm going to keep it as VA tech AWS integration. Okay. This is my project. So let me close the previous tabs, okay. So as soon as if you create here, okay, I'm going to add listener here. So I need to pause or I want to test this API oh yeah, Postman or Thunder client. So I'm going to use listener. So here I'm going to configure as just simply AWS, okay, AWS. Now, add the logger. Here you can call, okay, before creating S3 bucket. Okay, now, in order to integrate S3 bucket, see, so here we don't have any module with Amazon. So what you need to do, go to search and exchange and type Amazon, okay. 
so automatically it is searching okay amazon so here you can see amazon s3 connector okay amazon s3 connector add this one click on finish see as soon as if you add this module you can able to see the different connectors here create bucket is there delete bucket is there okay get bucket is there there are a lot of options but as part of our use case we are going to create bucket okay just drag this one just drag this one so i want to create bucket okay so this is very important now we can see click on this configuration we need access key and secret key so how to get this values see in order to call any external apis or external systems or third party systems okay either snowflake aws azure service now so how we are going to log in by using username and password right the same way here also for mule soft it's required it's required access key and secret key okay now let's see how to generate access key and secret key here go to your profile we take here security credentials so this is very important security credentials so if you come down so here you can observe access keys just click on this create access key okay click on this create access key and click on the check box and if you click this button it is going to generate access key and secret key okay so i have already created i have already created access key and secret key okay i am going to use these values i am going to use these values okay again we are take security credentials security credentials so here access keys okay so now this one is inactive it is inactive i am going to use this one so in order to use this one there are two options one we can hard code here or else you can create source main resource yaml file i'm going to create yaml file here my config iphone dev i will keep it simply yaml now try to see here let me paste first this one aws two spaces access key colon within double quotes okay within double quotes you need to keep this one now secret key so these are the two values it is required to connect with aws now you can go to your project go to global elements and click on create type properties okay click on configuration properties and add your file here my config dev.yaml okay now go to message flow now we can configure now we can configure so how to read the values from properties file this is very important for even interviews also dollar flower braces aws dot access key now dollar flower braces aws dot secret key 
okay this is very important now click on test connection and we will see whether we are able to connect or not okay so now test connection is successful click on okay so now we are able to connect with aws account but just we need to configure so what is the bucket name it is required so i want to take i want to take bucket name from my query parameters so how to take attributes dot so even if you want you can hard code but you want to take it from user then you need to do this configuration attributes dot query forms dot bucket name so bucket name is the variable okay so this is what you need to mention now so after this one just add one transform message just mention the payload and we'll see whether what is the input i mean what is the response we will get it so it's very simple so what we need to do first we need to know the configuration values access key okay access key and secret key then you need to configure here then click on test connection then here i'm going to configure attributes dot query forms dot bucket name now let's try to run this one and meanwhile let me prepare okay let me prepare endpoint for this go to collections and i'm going to create new collection here so this is for aws integration now inside this i am going to create new request s3 bucket creation okay s3 bucket creation now local host 8081 slash aws just i have given and the query parameter what is the query parameter bucket name see here you can provide your bucket name so that it is going to create your bucket name i'll keep it as va tech s3 bucket sample okay s3 bucket sample so this is what i am trying to create okay now the application is deployed click on send button see the response we are getting as 200 okay and we take s3 bucket sample it is created even you can observe in the logs okay now let's go to let's go to aws portal and type s3 here click on s3 click on s3 just observe here see va tech s3 bucket sample is created okay i want to create one more i want to create one more yes you can do this s3 bucket sample one i have given okay just observe see how beauty it is okay just do refresh here just to refresh see now you can see sample and sample one is there okay so far we have seen how to create s3 bucket in the next video 
we are going to see how to create a file and how to upload the data okay how to create a file and how to upload the either it is a csv data or json data that is what we are going to see in a next video okay thanks for watching this happy learning